morning, everybody. We are here to cook again. Today, Miranda and I, Laura R, will be making a lovely olive bread. Now, this is a special bread because instead of just using a bread pan, we're going to use a cast iron skillet. Actually, two, because I like to make a little baby one and a little mommy one. So they'll be lovely. The first thing we need is our bowl of water. Now I've already made one, so this looks dirty, but we're just making more than one. I've already got one cup of water in the bowl. I'm gonna add my second cup of water, pour it right in, and then we need our salt. This recipe calls for one half, one half tablespoon of salt. Tablespoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon. Pour that right in there. Mix it right on up. Give it a little stir. And then we add one, one cup of flour. Now I like to use my little handy dandy one third cup measuring spoon thing. And then I use three of them, which equals one cup. One third, three times, equals one cup. Sprinkle that in there. That's number two. And one more makes one cup of flour. Now in total, we're going to use four and one third cup flour. But for now, we're gonna start with just the first cup and get it all stirred in there. Now, in this bread, it's an olive bread, but I stepped it up. If you like walnuts, I recommend add some walnuts because it really does make it better, in my opinion. Walnuts are optional. Um, and actually, the olives are optional too. You don't have to use olives. You can just make the bread. I prefer the Katamala olives. I've already got these cut up. Let me show you how I like to cut them. Let's move my cup. I cut this way and then this way. So they're in quarters, the long ways. That's my, you can do it however you like. You can do it down like this or make little ringlets. You can use green olives, you can, you can use whatever olives. The recipe that I have actually says, what kind of olives do they say? One cup star garlic and basil marinated olives. I don't even think I've ever tried those kind of olives before, but the kind I use works out perfectly. I'm gonna add my olives. Voila! And my secret ingredient, some walnuts. Now I buy the big bag of walnuts from Costco, it's really economically um, save you a lot of money. But they come in halves or quarters, and I cut the quarters or the half, cut the halves into half, and then the quarters into the quarters. And that's about how big I like my walnuts. Stir all that in there. And I'm gonna move on, check out what we got next. We need the herbs and the garlic and the garlic powder. Now, Miranda was so kind to mince up a couple cloves of garlic for me. So we've got some little tiny minced garlic pieces. You can also buy jars of already minced garlic. That's much easier, but the fresh stuff is really potent. We like potent. And, oh, I don't want to shake that. I want to open the whole thing up. And we want one, that's a tablespoon. We want one teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic powder. 
There we go. That's teaspoon, not tablespoon, unless you like a lot of garlic. There we go. Sprinkle that right in there. Voila. And it says herbs. I guess it just whatever herbs you want, but um, I like to throw in a little rosemary. Seems to go well with the olives and the garlic and the, the whole mixture. Put that in there, stir it all up. Looking good. Mm -hmm. And we need yeast. Forgot the yeast. Let's not forget yeast. Let's see, teaspoons. We got two, two and a half, two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Now on my directions, it says one package, but one package is about two and a half teaspoons. There we go. All right, so, so far I've gotten three cups of flour in my dough, and I need one cup and one third cup more. So there's one third. Two thirds, three thirds, which makes one cup, and one more third. Now, this is the part where I always say it seems like there's too much flour. How is that flour all going to get squished into that dough? Amazingly enough, it does but it definitely feels like there's no way that flour is gonna get all mixed into that dough. Look at all that flour, dag nabbit. All right, so if you'll notice, remember all that powdery flour that was there? It somehow got all mixed in. So now that it's all mixed together, I just cover it up, let it sit for an hour and now in about 15 minutes before you're ready to put it in the oven, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so check our dough. It's nice and, oh, lovely. I've got two different cast iron skillets here. I've got a medium one and a little baby one. I like to make, you know, one this size and one that size. I kind of want to get four of these and make four little ones but however you wanna do it. The recipe actually calls for um, where's the cast iron? It doesn't say. So I guess however you want. Doesn't say on our directions. All right, so I'm gonna take a little round one and put it right here in our little in our little guy there now i also like to put some uh olive oil i put olive oil in fact i've already got olive oil in that one but i put some olive oil in this one it gives it a nice crunch on the bottom put a little olive oil on top give it a little crunch on the top Spread it around. That'll be good. And then here's our mama, our mama size loaf. Nice and round right in there. It's gonna puff up. We will all drizzle that on there. And pop these in the oven. You know, maybe I'll even add a little rosemary on top. That'll look nice. Flake some rosemary on there. Because this is a gourmet. We're doing gourmet baking here. That, that. Pop these in the oven. And 30 
35 minutes. Put that on there. All righty. And then we wait. Oh, here we are. Timer off. See how they look. Oh, nice. Here we go. Ooh, look at that baby. Ooh, sweetness. And there's mama. Take those out. Now I'm going to take them out and put them on a plate so they can cool. Grab my plate over here. Hot, hot, hot. hot. Now cast iron skillets are hot through the entire thing, so be very careful. Pull the big one out. Ooh. Come on, mama. out of the way and the baby okay all right we're ready it's cool ready to slice on into and share got a nice big piece there now you can put on all kinds of things just plain butter I was hooked on to um, then I kind of moved on to like some Swiss cheese and some ham and a little mustard. Just doctor it up with things that you love or have it plain. It's delicious.